Let's know what causes camera shyness and what is it called and is it normal to become a camera shy or to become a shy while speaking publicly. So first of all camera shyness is called scopophobia and why we become camera shy or why we feel shy while speaking in a public situation or in front of a bunch of people is because it was mentioned in one article in Harvard, Harvard Business Review that uh, our ancestors or the previous people used to be scared of other people's eyes because they used to find those eyes as the eyes of predators. So for that reason, a part of our brain, which is called amygdala, used to trigger and that part of our brain actually triggers down anxiety, stress, all these kinds of stuff. So after that, people used to get scared of those eyes. And that thing has passed to us. For that reason, we actually feel stressed out or anxiety whenever we see a bunch of people who is watching us or a camera is focused towards us. So for that reason, it is completely normal to be a camera shy or to become shy while speaking publicly. But I think it this thing actually cannot be get absolutely vanished, but we can reduce it. Okay. So through practicing and following this today, four steps, we can actually reduce our camera shyness. All right. So stay tuned and welcome to another new video all right so the first point that can help you to remove your camera shyness is to deliver slowly so after watching this man for long one to two years and this is one of the most favorite youtuber of mine so after watching him i was talking in a much faster pace after watching continuously ali abdel on youtube for like long one to two years so that's one thing i want to mention that if you deliver slowly at the first phase of speaking so that's a great there is a greater chance that you will actually reduce your camera shyness and that's because at the first level of speaking in English or delivering a speech in English I used to talk slowly in a slower pace so that can really help you to reduce your camera shyness because psychology today a page mentioned in one article how you can deliver slowly but they also mentioned one thing that if you deliver in a faster pace then there is a lots of chance that your your sentences will be filled with fillers and if you talk from the very first moment in a faster pace then you will actually face that your sentences are filled with fillers and your audiences will ultimately not understand what you are talking about so for that reason to be a to reduce this thing to be a less camera shy you have to first of all learn how to deliver slowly at the very first pace so psychology today has mentioned two other points how you can deliver slowly is that first of all before starting any kind of speech you can ask your audiences whether you are going in a fast pace like in a fast pace or slow pace and if they are not understanding or getting anything ask them to remind you and the second point comes is that you have to always keep a bottle of water while talking in front of camera or while talking publicly in front of a bunch of people and that's what I do whenever I come and sit to shoot a video and to upload it on YouTube I always try to keep a bottle of water with me because that's a kind of natural pause so a bottle of water or drinking from the bottle of water in between shooting a video creates a natural pause for that reason if there is no one in front of you you can take a sip of water you can also take a sip of water while um, give your presentation or any kind of stuff so the next point is about don't think about yourself while you are shooting a video or either you are giving a presentation publicly so Harvard Business Review has also mentioned this thing that you should not think about yourself, how you are looking on the camera, how people are going to judge you, what people are uh, saying in their mind about you right now while you, you are giving a presentation. So you have to stop thinking these things because you will, I, I will say you might, you will get diverted from your face, from your pace of, the, of, the, of talking because if you are giving a presentation on environment pollution and somehow you are thinking that uh, what might people thinking about me right now uh, am I saying something lame am I saying something illogical um, are they really enjoying a presentation all these things will distract you and will take you to another path and that path will actually be like harmful for you because at that path 
seriously people will start thinking what has just happened to this girl or something like that if you're in a pace where you are talking in a normal tone you're enjoying talking you're enjoying giving a presentation then people will feel comfortable okay so so that's the thing actually so you don't have to think about yourself how your makeup is looking in front of the camera how your makeup is looking in front of public like all these things you should stop thinking while giving the presentation all these things you have to make sure before coming in front of people or before coming in front of the camera you should not think about these things while you are on in an ongoing position all right so these things will divert you the next point is try to keep a script now while i was doing my first ever video on youtube like all these videos and i didn't have any kind of script at that time but now before like coming in front of the camera and speaking to my audiences or delivering any kind of informative ideas in front of you guys i always try to keep a kind of script motion uh, like this app uh, which i use to like take notes or write video scripts etc i use this app and i just turn out turn on my motion app and go to my daily activities page and then go to my youtube uh, template then just type out what i have thought about like what should be my new video or what will be the topic of my new video so that i just don't forget so for that reason i use motion to type those all out and after that whenever i get time i just sit with my computer and start writing the script so that i can deliver in a smooth and formal way uh, so that my audience can understand what actually i'm giving to them every video should start with a structured or organized script because otherwise the things that you are delivering to your audiences your audiences will start thinking like uh, this person is delivering something illogical disorganized information you are not getting anything so for that reason you have to make sure you have a script ready and that script ready will ultimately help you to go in a normal pace tone to talk slowly to understand the camera vision to understand yourself that you are doing absolutely fine you have you have to worry about nothing you are doing fine so these things will actually ultimately reduce your camera shyness okay so the last point will be confidence is the master key now let me tell you a secret how am i so confident in front of the camera how i can continuously talk in front of the camera without without some little interruptions so all these things are possible if you have raised your confidence level and one more point is you should not watch yourself like you should not watch yourself you have to focus on the camera lens okay so the second point you have to remember the second point was about like uh, you should not think about yourself so ultimately if you are seeing yourself on that uh, camera like vision or something else like how you are talking how you are going that you will actually get tensed that why am i behaving or talking like that or we talking in that uh, joker type of face so all these things will come to your mind so for that reason you have to just completely focus on your camera lens so that will actually help you to get rid of thinking about yourself this is one point and uh, another point i want to mention is that you have to be confident before speaking in front of public or in front of the camera and here are some tips that is you have to take care of your dress up yes that's the point so uh, today i'm wearing this hijab and if someday like this has happened a lot of times a lot of time that whenever my hijab is not perfect in front of the camera i used to not shoot the video like i used to get a kind of impression that yes uh, my first impression wasn't perfect i think my whole video video guide like might get ruined so all, all for that reason i really used to get angry i know i'm not being that much proactive but i'm trying to but this really matters how you have dressed up are you enough comfortable in your dress up so you have to check those all out okay and next point comes is that you have to keep a proper light setting okay so if you are looking like a dumb person in front of the camera like there are no focus no light resolution no proper contrast then your audiences will not enjoy the videos because there are some of my videos in between my like uh, channel those videos had really low quality of light but now i think it's 
quite fine and uh, yes you have to check the light quality too and try to keep a small sweet smile in front of the camera i know my one isn't small nor sweet i don't know so <laughs> that's it you have to just keep a small uh, like smile and give our uh, little hand gestures so that people can understand that this girl is trying to deliver something i have to get those so this is how you can build up your confidence level so if you have enjoyed today's video please make sure you have hit the subscribe button because we are nearly in the path of getting 400 subscribers alhamdulillah but i know that's really low but that's something for me because it isn't really a joke to get 400 subscribers like from the very beginning and trying so hard to like just rank on this platform so thank you very much all of like to all of those people who are watching my videos who have helped me to reach like kind of 40 hours of watching time that's really great i know as a beginner it's really great for me and uh, also if you want to follow me on my other social media platforms like i have my facebook page i have i'm on tiktok then i make reels i upload them on instagram you can follow me on those platforms or also on twitter so yes i'm pretty much active on those so thank you very much for watching you can also check other videos of my channel you'd really enjoy and find this informative till then stay safe assalamu alaikum